Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, so you know what that means. It is a new WandaVision episode this week, and it was the episode that everybody had been waiting for, which was the Halloween episode. However, I have been looking up online, looks like lots of people are kind of disappointed because it seems like we got more questions than we got answers, and people are starting to get a little bit frustrated. And we have been at this for about six weeks now, so I can understand some of that. But without further ado, let's get into a breakdown and a review of the episode. First of all, I want to say I love the new intro of this one. I wasn't as big a fan of last week's intro. I really liked this one. I thought it was cool, different. Seeing the twins kind of interact and intro with the episode was awesome. Love that. Um, I think the fact that Wanda's Halloween outfit was supposed to be a Sokovian fortune teller was kind of cool. Um, also keeping on track with what's been going on last week, seeing how Vision wanted to kind of not be around her, wanted to go out on the neighborhood watch. I think that just, just further adding to his suspicions and he's just can't trust her anymore. So we've really seen a deterioration of their relationship since the beginning of the first episode. Um, I think it's interesting that Pietro shows up when he does. Um, well, Pietro, I'm gonna put that in quotes there. I also think it's extremely strange how, um, you know, Vision says, you know, there's no other clothes in his closet. I thought that was a funny little inside joke and also kind of strange, but more to adding to the suspicion. Um, and then when we go back out to base and Monica wants to go back in and then we see that drone. Um, if you heard that, that was just an Instagram blip there. Um, we see her with the, the the drone come out with all of the uh, power, like the red kind of mist power vibe over it. And they're trying to kind of look at it. And it's interesting that at this point, Hayward kicks Monica, Darcy, and Wu out. Um, that means that he's definitely wanting to keep something. And I know that Monica has pissed him off to no end with saying that, you know, she doesn't know what the deal is with Wanda, but Wanda should be part of the solution. She's not part of the problem and he doesn't want to hear otherwise. Yeah, it's interesting. Also interesting, I thought the commercial was very different from the ones that we've seen this week. It was kind of, in my opinion, a little bit boring. The only thing I took from that was that it was a commercial for yogurt and it said it was basically the food for survivors. So take from that what you will. I'm not exactly sure what that was or if that was just kind of a filler commercial that they decided to throw in this week. Moving on from there, I think that when Pietro is talking to Wanda and he says, well, I know that you, you know, you needed me, so that's why I came. Um, it's almost as if he has parts of the story, but not all the parts of the story. And he becomes increasingly irritated with Wanda as she asks him kind of probing questions about their past and he kind of blows them off. Um, but yet he wants to know all this information about her, but she can't ask him any questions, which is a little bit interesting. I also think it's interesting when the kids are out trick or treating and she talks about the fact about do not go past Ellis Avenue. And as we find out later on in the episode, which we're gonna get to in a second, that is actually where the um, force field kind of ends, um, you know, back past those telephone poles. But yeah, that we'll get to that in a second. Um, I also think it's cool to note that when Darcy and them go out and they're looking at the tracking as they, you know, they go into their little sword ponchos behind the scenes, that they notice that Hayward's tracking Vision. Now, why is he tracking Vision? What exactly is the purpose? And why didn't he tell them that he could have a way um, basically to see behind the force field at this point? And now, by now, Hay Hayward, not Hayward, I'm sorry guys, it's been a long day. Wu says that he thinks that he's definitely got a head count then of exactly how many civilians are in there and basically more information than he's letting on. So why is he not sharing? As we see Vision kind of head out and span out towards the neighborhood. And when he kind of flies up above, it's weird that as he gets towards the outskirts of town, it seems kind of strange that the people, you know, they have the woman with the clothesline and she's just kind of like repeatedly making the same motions over and over again. A single tear kind of comes down her eye. That was creepy and really strange. So are those people actually alive? Because there has been rumors before all of it started that some of the people in the in Westview are not actually alive, that they're dead. Obviously Vision is no longer with us, so what's going on here? Um, I think that was a definite creepy part of it. Also the get conversation with Agnes that was very hyped up in previous trailers um, didn't really provide us with any more answers this week. Uh, basically it was her kind of just frozen in time and then as we've seen Vision in past episodes kind of probe her brain a little bit. Um, of her breaking down and saying, oh my God, she won't let us leave. We can't get out of here. You're an Avenger, you're dead. 
Vision is obviously confused because he can't remember life before Westview, so that's obviously kind of alarming to him. And then he tells her he's going to figure a way out, which leads us into further going back. But before we get into that part of him kind of trying to breach and go into the barrier, we do see that Monica says that she's going to try to go back in and her and we were going to go drive over the ridge, leaving Darcy behind because she asked to to probe into more information with Hayward. Then this is where we get into the, again, like I was saying, the probing questions with Pietro, which is a definite theme in this episode. And he talks about like, well, how did you do that? How, how, and Wanda, I think it's very interesting that she can't remember how she did any of it. She just remembers feeling extremely lonely and upset. So I think that's a little weird um, that she can't remember. That goes back to my, further my point that I don't think she is the only one behind this. I, I'm hoping that next week we get more answers and there's a lot more cameos, maybe from Doctor Strange next week. I don't know, maybe they'll save that towards the end. But it would be a nice change of pace to see someone new or at least one of the Avengers, especially as we move on from that point in the episode when she, when Vision is, you know, crossing through the threshold and he's being literally disintegrated. And then at this point when um, Tommy and the twins come over and tell her that there's something wrong with dad like your dad's dying and her expanding the boundaries it just goes to further show how powerful she is and at this point i mean when they were moving all across I'm like is she gonna encompass like all of new jersey because it certainly seemed like it i mean i know that's exaggerated but i mean i didn't think she could go that far either i do think it's going to get harder and harder for her to kind of contain vision and obviously we only have three more episodes left so we will just have to wait and see what turns up there um but now that Darcy is sucked in as well, that was another thing we could take from this episode. We saw everybody else, you know, kind of base camp was obviously absorbed. Um, the only one that got out were Hayward, the other agent, and then obviously Monica and Wu. So hopefully they get to team up with whoever it is and maybe Monica can get back in and intercept and help them out. But now Darcy is sucked in. We do not know exactly where she is in the episode or town, I should say, in Westview. So we'll just have to keep watching. Um, we do see Vision obviously get pulled back in, so he's just kind of passed out laying on the ground. Don't really know what's gonna happen next week. Um, I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. It is also interesting that Wanda can stop time in there, obviously because it is her own reality. It kind of makes sense. But yeah, those are the main takeaways. This was definitely an episode that left a lot of lot more questions than I even initially thought that I had so we'll just have to see what next week's episode brings I'm kind of I have no idea where we're going anymore but I do think I want to point out that I don't think Pietro is who he says he is I don't know if he's a spy I don't know if he's Mephisto I don't know anymore I'm so confused but I'm hoping the next week's episode will definitely wrap up some loose ends for us because we're kind of running out of time so until next time, guys, um, I will have more content coming out for you, but let me know if you like this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for all these different kinds of videos, not just Marvel, but a whole bunch of other random goodness on the internet. So until next time, have a good night, good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. Have a good one, guys. Catch you in the next one.